Okay, filming. So, it has arrived. The Indomitus box has finally arrived. Ninth edition is here. Because I was so excited, I thought I would do an unboxing video. There's probably going to be so many on the internet. I just wanted to document this moment of opening this box. I thought I'd do it on the floor here because the contents might make me faint. We're going to open it up. We're going to have a look inside and see what's in there. So let's just take off the plastic first. We'll be really careful just to make sure you don't get any of the artwork damaged. Just make a little incision and take off the plastic seal. Okay. Now, it's going to take a moment to take in this artwork on the box. I've seen a lot of unboxing videos recently where they just quickly open the box, but I'm just going to take a bit of time just to look at this box and appreciate how beautiful it looks. It looks so good. I'm just going to turn this over. And obviously you've got all your models on the back here and inside you've got a um, book as well and there's a bit of lore, some transfers and how to put them together. And we've got all of our models as well, which look really cool. I really like this, this kind of this copper paint job that they've done on the Necrons. And the plan looks a bit like old and quite grungy. And I think I might, I think I'm really like I'm swaying towards painting them similar. Because I really like the, the copper, it just looks really good. I'll probably be doing a, a, a painting tutorial on how I do that later. Let's just have a little closer look. Let's open it up. Let's take the box lid off for the first time. That, that smooth, satisfying slide as it comes off. Okay. All right, so let's uh, just put that there. Something I, which is quite cool to kind of like look on the side of as well is that I just hold it really carefully. You see on the side as well, you've got like some different options as well, how to paint the um, Space Marines. Some really nice little sort of paint schemes that you've got there. And you've got your Ultramarines on the side as well there. And also actually, that's quite nice is you've got some, also some different options as well on the side here for some neck ones as well, sort of a, some different silvers, and a darker colour scheme there for the neck ones. Really cool. So going into the box, we've got our piece of art that's covering the sprues. Yep. Just the amount of detail that's gone into this piece of art is like really cool. You've got some nice big banners and the guards and you've got sort of space. Um, Ships like Leaving and Dreadnought. Yeah, it just looks really cool. Even like this guy here, just offering up like a chalice um, to the chaplain, I think that is. Really nice, nice piece of artwork that you've got there. Same piece on the back, but... Um... And then here we have, we have all the sprues for the Indomitus uh, set. So let's have a look. Let's pick up this one first. So um, I'm gonna make sure I keep focusing on this so you can actually get a real good look of what's, uh, what I'm looking at as well. This is the Lieutenant. Is it a Lieutenant? I need to double check these because I don't want to get the names on. Yes, yeah, is the Lieutenant. And there's also is the Royal Warden. That's this guy here. Um, and I really like these uh, guys. Lieutenant, got a nice shield, really nice details on the shield. On the uh, Royal Warden, there's something really cool. Like he's got, he's got these, these sort of chains, these Necron sort of symbol. Uh, chains like sort of hanging from his arm. They both look like a quite cool models, quite like prominent. Next bit we got our uh, our bikes. Yeah, we'll have to see what they look like when they put them together. And there is a bit of like stuff on the internet about them being quite low to the ground and how accurate that would be. But I mean, overall, I mean, aesthetically, I quite like them. I quite like the armored looks of them. And I think they will look quite good later on. Here we go. So we've got the Overlord here with his uh, really nice big blade, I really like that. Let's make sure that's in focus. He's got some really nice like, sort of decor decorative wear as well on him. And also the captain as well. And this guy's really, this sort of guy's really cool. He's got, his, he's got his own base. I think I'll probably use that. I'll have to decide what I choose to base my models with first before I choose to base him in that. Actually, there's another bit here which goes on top of it actually. And this, go, this bit goes here, so this bit goes on there. Anyway, really nice cool. Really, the best thing on this is probably the shield. 
we've all seen the skeleton which goes on the front of the shield there. Yeah, I really like the detail that's gone into this. Do you remember what actually this I think it's the Necron actually goes on the base as well. So I think it's actually like a fallen Necron, which is defeated maybe. And you've got three heads to choose from as well, so you've got his uh without his helmet on and then one with his helmet on and then one with like, the visor up, which like, actually like, looks really cool. I'm swaying towards using that one. Okay, so Next up, let's look at these guys. So these are just the ordinary Space Marines. You've got your primary Space Marines with the swords and the, just their arms and bolters and plasma and their heads. Different packs. You know, some of the packs have got some uh, purity seals on them, some don't. Yeah, standard. Uh, there's some more here. Yeah, so let's see. Anything different on there? No, just some bolters and yeah, same sort of thing. Next up, probably my one of my my favourite model is the Reanimator. I think that's how you say it. This is the Canoptech Reanimator, and this guy is really I mean I really like this guy because he's got like he got this kind of like giant spider sort of figure thing that's sort of roaming around the battlefield, like putting back together fallen Necrons. I mean, he's actually quite tall, actually. I mean, he's got probably like that much. Yeah, it's quite his legs are quite tall. And something which I do quite like in all of these models that I've quite seen quite a lot of is they've got sort of custom sort of bits of bases attached to them, which is really nice. I like those sort of details they've added to these models. Yeah, so here you've got some of some rubble and sort of a, a girder there. And this one's really nice. Like you've got kind of like, if you see that, like rubble, fallen ruins, but then some midi little scarabs like running up the side of the wall. And then um, you've got the other guy who's the, yeah, Plasmancer. So um, yeah, he's here, and this like sort of chain, sort of necron, sort of metal robes that come down the side are really cool. And he's got sort of like sort of vials or his necron sort of tubes on his shoulders that look really cool. Yeah, I really like just all the bases, um, base details in these. Yeah, they're looking like some really good models and some really interesting lots of details to paint in. Them. So that's your reanimator and your plasmancer. Next, we've got uh, I think these are the destroyers but they're kind of big swords that they've got yeah really like these most the sort of their three legs so they sort of like scuttle around the battlefield and you know chop down some space marines yeah and again like they've also got some sort of basing details that they have attached to them there as well Something I didn't actually didn't remember seeing actually is um, the sort of the murder bucket guys, the uh, cryptothors. Yeah, these are really cool. I really like them. Sort of dustbins. The, I think and they kind of back up the plasmancer. I think that's what I was reading in the rules anyway. Yeah, so um, really nice. And also the orbs as well on the reanimator are really cool. Going to do some nice little green effects on those. I look forward to painting that. Right, what's next? We've got our Necron warriors. And the thing I do really like about these Necron Warriors is that the heads are all kind of like different. So on the kind of the old Necrons, they're kind of always quite same. Uh, you can kind of adjust kind of the way that they were like standing in a way. They're just quite generic. Whereas these guys are I quite like the detail that's gone into some of the different heads. So I'm not sure about the bodies as such. I think they are different. Yeah, I can see some differences in some of the bodies. So some have got kind of like some wires coming out of it, but the heads are really like different. It's got different details. Got sort of holes in some of them, sort of a bit of corrosion, and also on this one, I really like. It's kind of like missing a jaw, and it's just got some little sort of hanging wires where it's going to like be ripped off or it's kind of fallen off, which you would kind of expect from like sort of a million year old kind of walking immortal robot. But yeah, I really like them. These um, these are really cool. There are some nice uh, differences that will kind of just give a bit of uh, variety to the armies. These are some more warriors and yeah, they're both both the same. So you've got some options to kind of do some same heads if you want them. So, so maybe I could like put some two of those sort of guys without a jaw in my army if I wanted to. That would be really fun. And lastly, we've got the... Um, We've got, I think this is the chaplain up here. Yeah, I recognize that. We've got the Judica, which is here, I think. Oh yes, there's Judica. 
looking really good. Look at this, I mean this backpack here is really cool. Look at all these like purity seals. Like, I want to make sure you want to see that. This guy with like sort of a book attached to the back of him as well. Yeah, the shields look awesome. Um, for the, um, what are they called? The uh, veterans, Blade Guard veterans, that's it. And they're looking really good. The eradicators are their massive weapons, their melters. Also the, I will get these right. I will learn them. I promise. Blade Guard Ancient as well. And this banner that he's holding. I think it's awesome. Look at that. Can you imagine being on the battlefield and having that kind of just lead the way into the armies of the Xenos or Chaos? Yeah, that's really, I mean, that's an awesome model. I'm going to really enjoy painting these. Lots of really nice uh, models in this. I don't really know where to start. I think I'm going to start with the Necrons. I really like them. But the Space Marines also look, they look really good. Yeah, there's just so many details attached to these. You know, like the hanging sort of chains and medallions that are hanging from their army. We'll continue to look at the box because I don't want to get too carried away. I could be looking at those for hours and not even get them painted. So <laughs> we'll see what happens. So uh, we've got some more artwork. I think this is probably the same as the one at the top. Yeah, there's maybe just a bit of protection for what's underneath. Yeah, so that's a uh, piece of artwork, another piece of artwork. We've got our, the instructions. So lots of instructions here about how to put them all together. Let's see if there's any like surprises in here. I need like really fiddly models that I've got to put together. I'm not sure if the reanimator is uh, going to be really fiddly. I've got Illuminous as errors as well to do, and I've heard that he's quite a fiddly model to paint. So you've got a bit of lore as well, a bit of background. Talking about the Necron Force here, the labels, a bit of uh, some information about the Space Marines as well. And you've got your data sheets at the back. I look forward to looking at these in a bit more detail. They have all there the details, the information about their weapons. And yeah, I can look at this a bit later. Another piece of artwork there. And then we come to the book, which, you know, I think, in my humble opinion, I think it looks really stunning. Like, it's a lovely but like piece of artwork and just really nicely detailed. You've got some really like color contrasts and sort of details of space battles and kind of like armies against chaos and the space marines battling away with Abaddon and I think it's Rubik Gull uh, is that Gulliman as well, I'm guessing. My lore is a bit hazy sometimes, so uh, do correct me in the chat if I do get things wrong. I need to learn. So yeah, I will look forward to the reading this. The Emperor sitting on his throne, but the ending there, there is only war in the Warhammer world. This is going to keep me busy for a while. You know, I've got lots to read about. Grey Knight's Death Watch. Got some uh, different war zones. Information. In front and back, there is some nice artwork there. Yeah, I've got to look forward to reading this nice bookmark. Yeah. Keep going. Yeah, data sheets and the rules. And look forward to reading that later. That was quite heavy. Transfer sheets for Space Marines. Yep, so some details on there. You've got some vehicle markings on there. You've got some different markings of Space Wolves, Dark Angels, Blood Angels, Ultramarines. So I guess you could paint them up the way you want them to. It doesn't have to be Ultramarines, it's on the box. Paint them how you want. And then we've just got a bit of a last bit of a piece of artwork similar to what's on the front cover of the, of the book. Really nice. And underneath, da 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 da. Call that my desk. No. Is the bases. You've got your different size bases here. For all of the models, and actually, this is different from others. The models have actually got holes in them for the bases. So maybe where there's been the the basing details that I talked about earlier. I think this is where they go just to keep them secure, I suppose. But um, that's a new. Um, I've seen it before. And you've got all your other lots and lots of bases, for lots and lots of models. I think this is a great box. There's so many different details in there, it's, and lots of really great models. Favourite is probably the reanimator, this guy. Got some, hopefully some good ideas for how we're going to paint these. Look forward to doing the blades, doing the copper effect on them. We're doing a bit of the weathering as well. Got some ultramarines already, so I think despite, even though these look awesome, I'm going to still do the, the 
classic blue ultramarines yeah enjoy doing those yeah i think i'm going to do the ne necrons first i love the necrons and i've got some necrons already i'm going to look forward to painting them first and then try and do some space marines as well but i'll probably do some painting videos as well about how to how i do stuff and i'll post those up later if you you like this video if you did i enjoyed opening it i've now got to think about where to start right guys i'll see you later and uh, all the best bye